on a mission to be heard. And to get them to sit up and listen and, and, and to ignore the very powerful lobby of the coal mine owners in this country and the gas owners and all those people who are going to benefit along the chain, along the uh, value chain. And that's why we're seeing deals with the likes of Turkey and car power ships and so on. From taking to the streets to chaining themselves to government gates. A commitment to buy gas for 20 years? Nuts. You know, Why is it nuts? Why, is it nuts? Why would we want to make a 20-year commitment to burning fossil fuels when the world is transitioning to a zero-carbon future and our policy nationally now says we want to get to net zero emissions by 2050? These communities say the impact of pollution on families has come at a high cost. We suffer more from load shedding than the companies that are polluting more. So it's time that they must change. It is time that the entire system must change. They must put people before profit. I personally love in the coal yard where the actual coal is being made and everything is constantly black, dirty. Please come down. Come down to communities. Despite handing over a memorandum of demands, the Department of Minerals and Energy's reception was cool at best. You said you don't have a response for the people that are gathered outside here? Not for now, not for now. The department has been given until the first week of October to respond. Climate justice activists are stepping up on their movement to protest against the use of fossil fuels uh, by ESCOM and they're calling for the Department of Minerals and Energy to speed up the transition to renewable energies. And many here are saying that their communities have been adversely affected by the impact of coal mining uh, on their communities, on their health, and they're saying they want more action, quicker action, transitional action by the Department of Minerals and Energy and ESCOM. Northern Dombi Mia, SABC News.